course, my name's Kay, Nate Burleson. Heavy caffeine, heavily caffeinated. Of course I am. Multiple coffees. Yeah. Peter Schrager. Do you guys like shake hands after two point conversing? Like do, you, do you hug no. it out? Is there tension? I don't even like Schrager today. He already took a shot at me about he did, the pizza he did. in Detroit. Mm -hmm. And then we're doing the segment, we're doing our debate. Yeah. And I, ha I have a moment where I can't find a word. So knowing your, your partner is struggling, wow. you jump in and it cut me off, make fun of me, do something. He just stares at me awkwardly <laughs> for six seconds. And I'm like, Strange, look me deep in my eyes. You know that I can't find this word right now. Nate, you know when they Save go, me. Wow, finish Peter. him, and they're yeah. just swinging like that. And Peter just let you stand I wasn't there. pressing the button. Johnny Cage. <laughs> that was crazy. Yeah, Phil man. Collins over here. <laughs> Golly. Kyle and I are getting along just fine. I, I think I feel good. You, you feel good? I feel really good. good. Hashtag GMFB. It is Wednesday, so you know what that means. Uncap the markers. Okay. Get your Twitter right, fingers going at hashtag GMFB. It is time for Whiteboard Wednesday, presented by CarMax. And we will see two of the best running backs in football take mm -hmm. the field tomorrow. Ezekiel Elliott and Adrian Peterson, who's having a hell of a year despite lots of injuries on that offensive line, both having great seasons so far. So if you were to vote right now for the Top two, the two first team all pro running backs, who would you vote for? Mm. Okay. I wish I could put Tyreek Hill. As a running back? <laughs> He's that. And this good. is one of those where you can actually only pick two. Okay. All right. I got you. I'm going with Todd Gurley and Alvin Kamara. Mm. Two of the most explosive backs in the league. Todd Gurley does a little bit differently, a little bit more brute power than strength. But Alvin Kamara, I mean, if he wants to run through you, he can do that as well. And they're pass catching out of the backfield. It's very simple to me. These guys, they're the anchors to their offenses. If they weren't on the field, we wouldn't talk about these guys being as historically dominant as they are. I'll be quick. Nate said a lot. See, we actually agree on things, too. Hey. <laughs> those two guys also, Gurley and Camara, uh, Camara, those are my two picks. I think every Sunday we're given a treat of the running back position right now. It's kind of a renaissance, mm -hmm. and these two are the very best at what they do. And they're putting up the numbers, and their teams are winning games. That's key. Their teams are winning games. Gurley and Kamara, those are my first team all pros. You got to go Gurley. I got Gurley as well. But I'm going to go different on the second one. And speaking of uh, teams that are winning, I'm going to go right here. I'm going to go okay. James Conner for a lot of reasons. Statistically, he stands right up with all of them. He catches the ball. He runs the ball. He's got the touchdowns. And really can't be wrong. It could be Kamara. It could be Zeke. It could be a lot of these guys. I'm looking for something special, okay, outside the box. I think he has that also additional factor of the mental factor, the psychological factor. He's the other woman in this very complicated marriage, and he showed up and was incredible. Yeah. Did things, they very demanding psychological things week after week. Asked questions about yeah. a guy who wasn't there. Answered them with a plum, and then went out and would have 100 yards in a touchdown. I'm going to go Connor. And Melvin Gordon continues to get none of that. Love Melvin Gordon. That we keep talking Looked about. Look over once again. That's just his it's right. Elliot's yeah. coming also. Yeah. Um, oh, after throwing that. one to Austin Carr on Sunday. Drew Brees has thrown touchdown passes, guys. We did the numbers. 64 different receivers. Cool. I like it. N64. In his NFL career. Your favorite Brees touchdown recipient of oh. all time. 64? Oh, somebody, somebody give me Kirkwood. Okay. Somebody give me Kirkwood. I'm going with Jimmy Graham. So good. So explosive. And this was when they used to let guys dunk after the touchdown. And I think when you still, to this day, even though he's in Seattle and mm -hmm. now in Green Bay, when you hear his name, you think of him catching touchdowns from the Saints. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's just that these times were so good. And that big, tall frame, he was basically a small forward yeah. out there catching TDs over safeties, linebackers, and cornerbacks. You have underappreciated handwriting. <laughs> Thank Great you. Great yeah. handwriting. I used to write a lot of the letters. Mm. That's it. I think Rogers thinks of him catching touchdowns with the Saints, too. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. That's He's banged up now. See if you get healthy with that thumb. Uh, <laughs> the question was our favorite. So the best might be uh, Jimmy Graham. You might have a Devery Henderson. We might I love Devery. Reggie Bush, hey. our colleague. But I'm going with my favorite. And I oh. everyone remembers him as a giant. But Jeremy Shockey got a ring with the Saints as well. And this guy was awesome for those years with Drew Brees. They would go double tight end at some points. And it was Graham and Shockey, but I love Jay Shock. I love what he brought. And then you pair Jeremy Shockey's personality, which is so brash, so abrasive, with Sean Payton's personality, so brash, so abrasive, yeah. and the entire ethos of what the Saints brought to the table during that Super Bowl season where they upset the Colts. I'm going with Jeremy Shockey, one of my favorite players in the NFL because of the way he brought it every Sunday and talked the talk as well. Mm. I heard Francesca's not a big Shockey guy. No. No, I've heard no, that. No. Big brass personality. I think they all get along. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with the deep cut. Uh, this is my guy, Eric Johnson. Eric Johnson, I played against him in college, was a fantastic wide receiver and punter at Yale. Came out and he got a bunch of passes from Jeff Garcia on the Niners and then showed up in New Orleans. I think he got two, it was either two, three, four, somewhere in that less than five for Drew Brees, but he was always super reliable in the red zone. 
And this is also the- Why is he famous, Kyle? You guys know who Eric Johnson went on to marry? Show my friends at the table. Eric Johnson, I respect you and love you as your football career, but this is actually really pretty interesting. That's him and his wife, Jessica Simpson, on the right, who of course, we, uh, we've we been through everything with her, back to the shows and the singing and all that, and he, she is now married to Eric Johnson. They have beautiful kids. Wow. Uh, from what my Chicken wife tells me- Chicken of the sea. Chicken of the sea, right, thank you, Peter. That's from the last chapter. <laughs> but my wife tells me she makes incredible shoes, too. So credit to them, love that couple. A lot, of, a lot of money that Jessica Simpson. Oh, hey. Yeah, you Business ain't woman. All right, the last two teams that combined to score as many points as the Rams and Chiefs did on Monday night was a Bengals team that beat the Browns in 2004. The score was 58 to 48. So let's go back to 2004, gentlemen. The most okay. 2004 thing that you can think of. Okay. What? I'll go, I'll go. There's there's so many, I'm thinking of Apple Paltrow, uh, Nicole Richie was very, uh, Star Jones Wedding was that year, we all remember it. <laughs> Her body in the club getting tipsy, that was that year. But I swear this is just a coincidence, Kay, the way this came up. The most 2004 thing for me is Ashley Simpson oh, lip sync on SNL. Oh, okay. Jude Law comes on, once again, Ashley Simpson. <laughs> they start playing the track, a pre-recorded track, and she just starts doing a hoedown dance. <laughs> And to make matters worse, at the end of the show, she go, she blames it on her band and says, "Sorry, my band played the wrong song." The band's like, "What the hell are you talking about, Ashley?" <laughs> she has since said she had throat problems, made a huge mistake, and learned a lot from the experience. But that was so oh yeah. for it. All right, I'll stick with Lizzie. I'll stick with Lizzie. Time out. We yeah. talk. We talk. Wait, two wait, Simpsons wait. on this show. None of them are named OJ or Jerome. We talk Jessica and yeah. Ashley. I love it. Wait till I get to Bart. <laughs> Did she have a career after that? Not really. I think she moved on and became a family woman. Ryan Cabrera? Yes. All right, what do you got? 2004. All right, uh, 2004. I'm going to go with some music as well. Okay. Here's an artist that if you look at some of his singles, it actually applies to football. You know, ODB. Old okay. Dirty Bastard. Oftentimes talk about Wu-Tang. You know, this is one of the more flamboyant. There he is right there. ODB. The shimmy, shimmy, y'all. Shimmy, yeah, shimmy, yeah, of course. And when we want money from teens, we want them to say, Hey, baby, I got your money. That's Don't it. you worry. That's it. So ODB, one of the best ever. And on top of that, yeah. you know, the reason is 2004, because 2004 was the year that he passed Always away. Made. So, you know, just the simple fact that these young artists now, you they, they got the crazy hair, yeah. you know, yeah. and the teeth and the chains. And uh, these, these new artists. He meant a lot to you. These, new, these new artists, like, they're, they're all young, old, dirty bastards. Yeah, man. He was a little before his time. So now everybody's credit for being different. He was one of the first different. So rest in peace. Rest in peace, bastards. man. Gone rest too peace. soon. Gone too soon. This is what you call retribution, two-point conversing. So, Nate, if you're, if yes. you're new to the show. <laughs> My favorite part of the show now. Go on. Every That's time right. we do anything, saying, right rest in peace, the old, dirty bastard. Nate does a dead rapper. Back. And he goes to a real dark place and a real sentimental place. And I'm expected to dig us out and do something silly. It, Trace, it's not I'm good a teammate. I'm a hip hop head, so like. He, yes, he, but you don't do the year a guy died. Like, say, like, some. You know. no, run, run Old Dirty Bastard, man. Last week it was Rest Tupac, piece, and now it's OG. I think it once it was Britney Spears' mental breakdown. Yes. And you had to go into the show Wings or something <laughs> like that. So, Peter, what do you got? Did, OG I was going to do Ken Jennings because he won a bunch of Jeopardy. It's still good. <laughs> He's still alive, though. Ken Jennings won Jeopardy 74 times, but please, let's go on to the obituary for Old Dirty Bastard again. You, there, there he is. It's not as fun coming off the death of a famous icon. 2004 also took Rodney Dangerfield yep, from us a lot. It's gone too soon as well. Now, why do you go to death right away on a fun segment? Like, where am I supposed to go with that? Nate's allowed to say whatever he wants. This is his part of the Karma, segment. Schrager. Right, Schrager. Karma. I'm a hip-hop head. I just want to show him some love. I was going to do Rodney Dangerfield because he don't get no respect. Also died. He doesn't get no respect. You know what I'm saying? Dangerfield was good in the 70s and 80s. He okay. died in 2000. That's not what you think of in 2004. <laughs> Rodney Dangerfield's death. I'm calling a family meeting here in the middle of Whiteboard one day. <laughs> no more death. You, it's Thanksgiving. I understand the argument. I don't want it to get serious, you know? I want you, everybody here to get along. Nate's crying now. Shredder. Yes, Nate is absolutely laughter. All he does right. is dead people. I know the one thing that can fix all of this. Okay. Can all, make this crazy. all better. All right. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you set me up. I know you did it on purpose. What do you purpose. mean? What do you mean? I hope he did it on purpose. You think it's a conspiracy? <laughs> Every week he does a dead person and I have to follow it and do something silly. Do you think we planned this last week or this week? <laughs> do you? you? What are you talking about? Are you yeah. new? <laughs> Straight. It's my favorite part of the show every every week is Nate going to some incredible uh, epitaph. I'm sure I'm surprised he didn't do it to a hostage situation. We'll, you know, get like... we'll get there. We'll get there. Start the healing. <laughs> we'll begin with a dabbing turkey. Hey baby, here we go. Oh, something we can all get behind. We all love. Uh, 
<laughs> I do like turkey. Right. We right. do. We showed you it yesterday. It brought us together as a family yeah. Yeah. a year ago yeah. and <laughs> two <laughs> studios ago. Yeah. We had that dabbing turkey. Sure. Pull it together. I'm, 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 Stop I'm, crying. I'm here. Somebody get him a tissue. I'm here. I'm, it's, it's, it's emotional. It's emotional. Uh, we're gonna, you know, maybe the, the table's bad as you do. Okay. So, yeah, okay. So uh, you actually get up from the table. And I'd like right, to know, speaking of the dabbing turkey, if you were to incorporate a dabbing turkey all right. <laughs> into a touchdown celebration, because why would you not do sure. that? That dabbing turkey, all right. I would like to know what that would look like. All right, let me get my high waters ready. Nate, before you start, I think ODB would have really respected yeah, the dab. Yeah, 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 it would have yeah. meant a lot to him if he was still here. Well, this is fitting. Uh, got the high waters. Rest in peace, Michael Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Hey! Yeah. You want to go? I don't know. Yeah, okay. 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 All right. I don't, you know, a lot of people eat some weird stuff with their turkey. I don't know if anybody puts uh, salsa on their turkey, but I'm thinking of Victor Cruz and he scores and he just goes, hey. <laughs> That's all we got. Or how about Terrell Davis? <laughs> but then it's almost like, <laughs> I, need be, I need you to be mic'd up. Uh, you're going to have to back so up a little bit. Right. One, of my favorite, one of my favorite memes is the Vince McMahon running out of the thing coming out. Okay, yep, yep. All right, what's that? Go ahead, Peter. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Oh, yeah, that was intense. Oh, Peter needs an MRI after that. Let me do it again. It felt so good. Dabbing turkey. One more it's time. Also Connor, okay, how about Connor McGregor into a dabbing turkey? Peter, that's not kind of real. I don't know what that was. You know, it looks like Dorothy in the Yellow Brick Road. <laughs> Connor McGregor. What was that? Who the bleep is this hey. guy? Hey, I fixed oh. us. Do you want hey, no, you want I'm the healer. Hey, get in there. No, 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 no. I, don't, okay. I don't get whiteboards in this segment. No, Great it doesn't happen. Um, you know who the winner, the real winner is Carmax. Excellent. The real loser was Ken Jennings. By everyone involved. <laughs> he won enough, man. All it took was all staged anyway. Brings us all together. Come together. You guys can borrow our dabbing turkey at your ridiculous, <laughs> dysfunctional family situations tomorrow. Up next, remember this guy? Guys, anybody? Bueller? Steven Jackson. Yeah, this guy. Oregon State. Uh-huh, him and I had something in common, guys. What's that? You're from Vegas? <laughs> You're tall? No. You got dreads? We'll talk about it after this. Plus, they're the dynamic duo kicking butts and taking names on the Saints. But what other teams can keep up with this high-powered squad? We'll tell you what we think after this, but I want that moonwalk. Oh, nice. Hey. Nate legitimately is cry I've never seen him cry so hard. <laughs> so funny.